know what, you're getting so good at that. Let me change it up. Hmm. Hello, boys and girls, your turn. Hello, Miss True Axe. Oh my goodness, you're getting so good at that. Hmm, let me fix it. Hmm, challenge, ready? Hello, boys and girls, your turn. Hello, Miss True Axe. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. And I'm so excited that we have another time at music. We are on week four and we have week five to go and then we're done with quarter one. Can you believe that we've already made it almost to the very end of quarter one? I love it, I love it, thank you so much. Well, if your parents haven't picked up the yellow packet, they really need to because uh, in first grade on, we have a music effort grade. So I'm going to explain it a little bit later in a parent video but we have a music effort grade, so we really, really need that yellow book and doing assignments. Now my friend Sonora, and I'll talk about her later, she did a great job, even though she didn't have the book, she still did the assignment. She found a workaround, and I'm giving her credit and points for that. So thank you so much for Sonora for letting us remember that we can get our work done. Thank you so much. So without a further ado, let's get warmed up. Let's stretch up tall like a tree. Give it a nice long stretch and lean your hands to the side. Give yourself a long stretch here. Good job. Hands over here, give yourself a long stretch over here. And roll your shoulders forward. Good job. And roll your shoulders back. And really make sure our voices are nice and loose because our shoulders are. And lean your head to the side and just let it hang. Take a deep breath here. <sighs> so calming. And over here, <sighs> so calming. And shake out a hand, and shake out a hand, and shake out a foot, and shake out your other foot. And you know what, we're gonna do a countdown. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Foot, two, three, four. Other foot, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. It's gonna count all the way down to like nothing. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, good job, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Oh my goodness, that felt like it was getting faster and faster, but actually, we were keeping our nice steady beat. Let's put our steady beat on our heart. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again, one two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Awesome steady heartbeat. Speaking of steady heartbeat, here's our word. Steady beat. And we have four hearts. Let's count them together. Ready? And one, two, three, four. And we don't go faster or slower. We just stay the same. Again, ready? And one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. In your book, we took a look at our first two pages. This is our cover page, right? But we had our nice little page that said our steady and beat. And thank you parents who cut these out and helped us with our scissors, right? And we glued them over top of the part. So it says here, steady like the beat of your heart, steady like the beat of a drum. You want to always remember that because that's the foundation of our music. That's the, the main part of our music. Every single song has a heartbeat and we want to pay attention to that heartbeat so we know when words go faster than the heartbeat and when words go slower than the heartbeat so that we can be better musicians. Take a look here. We have like five hearts across here and five here. Let's keep them steady. If you have your book, Go ahead and grab your book if you need to pause like for a second and grab it, but I want you to touch it with me. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. Let's Let's go down to the next line of our music. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna count this as five and this is five. So we're not gonna count up to 10. We'll just say five and five because there are two rows of five. Let's go again, ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, we're getting better at reading music. One more time. Point and sing. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Guess what? We can loop it. We can repeat. So let's do the five and then repeat one more time. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so very much. So that is our steady beat. Speaking of our interactive notebook last week, I had a lot of people turn in their homework. Now, if you haven't, you can go back and redo the flip grid. I'll grade it again next week and see if anyone's added them to it. But in Mrs. Gonzalez's class, we had Xander, Ivan, and Sophie, and they all showed me their beautiful study beat pages. Thank you so much. I love them. They were so fancy. And then in Miss Newberry's class, Mackenzie G. Um, did a wonderful job of showing me how her study beat is. Thank you, Mackenzie. Uh, last week she showed her favorite instrument was the cymbals, and she said that she likes to slap them together, and that's why she likes them. And the cymbals, we don't hit them like this. We actually hit them at an angle and strike up. So let's try and pretend with our cymbal hands. Ready, and strike. Try again, ready, and strike. Let's do four steady beat strikes. Ready, and strike two three four just like a symbol we don't want to leave it on because the sound goes dead in fact let me find a symbol all right Mackenzie and friends so these are symbols they're not fancy symbols they're kind of old ones they're almost like toys um, but these will help us for today so we actually don't put our hands in here because then look they'll flail around and when I try and hit them look at how much they move so I'm going to hold them here. I'm gonna hold it like a fist. And I'm gonna hold this other one like a fist right against the back so that they move a little bit, right? But they're less floppy. And now I'm gonna strike them like we were doing before. Get your hand symbols ready. We're gonna do four. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Was that a loud sound? I agree with you. It's right in front of my face. Whew. Mackenzie likes loud instruments. I like it. Ready and Oh my goodness. Let's use our steady heartbeats from last time. So we had our five heartbeats and our five. Let's do five, two sets of five. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Listen to them ring. They ring for a while. Well, later on, we'll use those as our instrument of the week, and I'll bring in real giant symbols, but these ones were helpful for now. Thank you, Mackenzie, for sharing about your favorite instrument. And moving right along, we have Miss Nestle's class, and Miss Nestle's class had a lot of students tell me about their study beat. Thank you so much. We had Jonan, Caitlin, Sean, Malia, Sonora, Kellen, Ronan, Aubrey, and they all showed me their study beat from their interactive notebook. I thank you so much. Um, some highlights that I was noticing, uh, Caitlin even showed me her study beat and it went like this. She had like a, a drum box in front of her and a little stick and she did this. And she brought her hand up. She didn't sit it on the drum, right? Try with me, ready and she made it ring and it was nice and steady. Again, ready and one. Ooh, let's do our five sets of five. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? Let's do two sets of four now. So we're going to just count to four twice. Ready and one. We're going to call when we stop playing it off. If you have your hand drum with you, that would look like this. Ready? Together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And off. Nicely done. Thank you so much. We're learning so much about music.